Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So this is a project that I've had in the queue for quite some time. I have a lot of power tools in the garage and I need to create hose adapters to go between my four inch dust collection system and the various power tools, which are usually around two and a half inches in diameter. So it turns out um, that there are a lot of variables you need to balance to do this properly. You would think it'd be very straightforward, but Turns out that after a variety of prototypes, uh, I was able to dial it in, but it was not a painless effort to get to the final result. Nevertheless, I have created a variety of hose adapters, <laughs> um, and this is just some of them <laughs> for my different power tools. And you can see, so you can see it's relatively straightforward. We have the two and a half inch uh, port on top and the four inch port on the bottom in this case. Uh, so the big dust collection system goes on here and then this plugs into the power tool of choice. And this particular um, adapter actually wrote uh, in 3D printed the letters of what this is for so that I don't uh, get them mixed up because they're, it turns out they're all slightly different sizes. Um, this one in particular fits fairly well. It's a little tight on this collection port here, but the, the back side is fine. And so, right, so I'm gonna cut over to Fusion. I'm gonna show you how I designed this and talk about some of the variables in the design process, and then um, we'll wrap it up. Stand by. Okay, so here we are in Fusion 360. What you see in front of you is the model, and let me walk you through the timeline very quickly. So I started off with a sketch, which is the profile of the hose adapter that we want to create. And I'll talk about the shape of it here in just a minute. I took this profile and I used the sweep command to create the hose adapter. I have found this is the fastest and most efficient way to create this particular geometry. Next, I very quickly just wanted to add some text, uh, which you saw. So I added a sketch with the text on it and then I extruded the text using a command, the extrusion command, but I set the starting point as the object itself and extruded outwards. If you want more information on how to do that, I actually do have a video about that specific operation and why it's important and why it's different than some of the other techniques. Last thing I did is I just took and I patterned the words around the center line just to put uh, some extra words all the way around. <clears throat> okay, so let's talk about the dimensions a little bit. So the bottom tapers out and the top tapers in because we want the top to fit into the, the hose adapter and we want the bottom to fit around the dust port of your power tool. So because we have swept around the center line, all of these dimensions are half the, the size of the respective port. So the two and a half inch port in this particular example, I measured to actually be two point for eight inches, which is not surprising that it's not as accurate as one would expect. So we take half of that value, and then in this example, I add a hundredth of an inch to make it taper out a little bit on the bottom. And then on the top, again, 2.48 inches, and I subtract a little bit to make it taper in on the top a little bit. And then for the four inch, I do exactly the same thing. I measured it at 4.157, I take half of it, I subtract a little bit to get that little taper on the top, and then on the bottom, I take the 4.157 and I divide it by two, and I add a little bit to get that little outward taper on the bottom. And so that gives you these nice snug fits where it will slide in to the hose adapter for the dust collection system, and then lock through friction fit into uh, that adapter, and then the same on the port side, or it'll slide around the output port of your power tool and lock in with friction. Okay, so let's finish this sketch and go back to the diagram. So that's the simple hose adapter. The only thing that you need to do for this design is to match the dimensions to your specific uh, configuration for your adapter, either your dust collection system or the port for your power tool. Now I will say the four inch port should be pretty standard. Um, I didn't see a lot of variation in the different uh, port uh, adapters that I have in that diameter, but the power tools 
ports were very different in sizes depending on which power tool I was using. The router table and the jointer seemed to have very similar sizes, but it was the table saw was much, um, I shouldn't say much, it was narrower so that the, the jointer uh, adapter that works perfectly on the jointer is actually too loose on the power uh, on the table saw. So it's just something to care, keep in mind. Uh, just make sure you do your measurements and you check on the values and then you adjust appropriately. Okay, so that was the design in Fusion 360. I hope you enjoyed it. Obviously, I've printed a couple of these to dial it in for the various reasons that I spoke about. And so if you're interested in the file, I will uh, post the file to, I guess, Thingiverse, maybe. Um, maybe GrabCAD, depending on what the best uh, location might be for it. Uh, and uh, I could probably put it on my website too. So I'll, I'll link to it down below. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, very important these days. And don't forget to be inspired. Well, it wasn't hard, but it wasn't easy. Hi. Hi. Hi.